G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And today, I've returned to the Rocky Creek. And I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see from there, but there is water in the creek. Not a lot, but there's enough in there to do a few pans. So, that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm going to be doing a few test pans. I'll start from down the bottom here, and I'll work my way up the creek so far up and I'll do some test panning and I just want to prove prove up this creek to see if there is gold here to make sure that that test pan that I took um, on my first visit here and, and I've got gold in the pan I just want to prove it up that there is gold here and I didn't make a mistake so that's what I'm doing today guys oh and stay tuned to the end of the video guys because um I'm going to announce the winner of that meteorite. Yeah, okay guys. Okay. I dug a sample out of there. There's a creek coming down this way. It flattens off in this area. So I dug a hole there, did a test pan, nothing. Then I've gone about three or four metres up, up the creek. And just here, you can see all the water comes down through here, racing down through the creek. And there's a bit of a hole here in amongst these rocks. So I've dug another, um, oh, about a quarter of a bucket out of there. I lifted all those rocks out of the way and just dug down into the gravel. And there's our pan there. So I'll set this up. I'll pan that out. And we'll see how we go. Okay, it's a bit early in the morning, guys, it's um, still a bit dark, the sun hasn't come up yet properly. Anyway. Because I dug a hole here, I've got plenty of water, which is good. And I've been noticing um, there's plenty of quartz in this creek, heaps of quartz, and a lot of it's got iron staining in it it's got the red the red staining in the iron but um if you've been following my videos you know i'm down the bottom of the creek i've got the, the gold in the pan i've got a oh on my first video i made here i've got it right up the top of the hill up here so i'm just testing down the bottom here to see if there's any gold um, any gold could have washed down the creek and end up down the bottom here. So I'm sampling down the bottom, just like the old timers. The old timers would start from the bottom and work their way up. And that's what I'm doing, basically. So today, all I'm doing is sampling down the bottom here. If I don't do any good down here, then I'll go up further up, up the top. Maybe on another video, I'll, I'll go up there and try up there. Let's see how we go. Let's see if we can get a few specs, guys. I'll just bring it up a bit closer to you so you can see. And see what's happening. Yeah, apologize for the light. It's as I said, it's still early morning. And there's plenty of in this creek there is plenty of ironstone, plenty of ironstone, plenty of quartz. All the ingredients. A little bit of black sand, not much. And um, I can't see any gold there. I'll look under my jeweler's loop, but there's no specks showing up. Yeah. Okay guys, I'll just keep plodding along. Okay, the last pan, last test pan we did, come out of that hole there. So going up the creek, oh about another four metres. We've got this spot here, we've got a big slab of bed, bedrock just there. Water runs down, 
down into this little hole here and then it's all it's blanked off by these big pieces of rock and what I'm thinking about doing is where this rock here is I dig down in front of it just there in front of the rock I'll dig down into there until I hit the the hard gravels and then I'll do a sample there and then maybe I could take another sample out of this side of the rock yeah okay so that's what I'll do I'll get back to this okay what I've done I took all the surface mat surface material off all the light sand and a few few rocks I threw them up there and then once I got down a bit I um, I put the material in the bucket so I've dug right down to some rocks there's some compacted rocks in the bottom there that's as far as I've got so that'll do that'll do for my next sample okay so I'll come back to this same water hole because um, there's not much in the way of water holes up there where I've walked so I thought I'll just keep coming back to this water hole just keep washing it washing material and see how we go and this is all you do guys you just you keep test sampling I mean as soon as I get a, a speck or two in the pan then I know I'll, I've got to try and dig deeper down and all, all I'm trying to do at the moment is dig down as far as I can before you know and then once I hit all those rocks compacted rocks river stones in the bottom it's really hard to dig any further but if I can get some sand, uh, some specks in the pan just in the material that I'm digging off the top then we'll know that the gold is here if I don't do any good down here down the bottom here and um, on my next outing here I'll go up the top because I know that's where I found the gold before it was up the top if the gold was there and it wasn't and my um, bucket wasn't contaminated that's what I'm trying to what I'm trying to find out I don't think it was I don't think my bucket was contaminated I'm pretty sure the gold's come from this creek See if we can get a bit of gold. See if we get a bit of gold in this pan, guys. I think I can see a speck right there. See it? It's a bit dark still, but I think that's a piece of gold there. I'll have a look under my jeweler's loop and I'll confirm it. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. This is where I took those last samples. Just down in there. Where my tripod is there, that's where I was panning. And I took the samples down in there. I've come up oh, about 20 metres. 20, 25 metres I walked up the creek. And just here's a drop off that drops off down into there you can see the bedrock the creek drops off down into there there's also an, it splits here there's also another little creek that runs down through there and where I'm standing now all this all these rocks and gravel and everything it's all built up just here this is all built up like a little island I suppose you could call it you can see that creek runs down through there I've got a little tadpole pond here a good pond where I can do some panning brilliant and you can see the bedrock just here and if I go back over here and give us a look from the creek from oh, I'm standing in the water and then you look down this way the way the creek is running you see there's a big a big island here, big island of rocks, 
gravels, soil, all just here. And then it runs away down through there. So, um, yeah, I'll take a couple of test pans here, guys. Seeing I've got a big, uh, a big pond of water, I'll do some panning here. Okay, I've just rolled that big rock there out of the way. There's my boot for comparison. Yeah, I just moved, rolled him out of here. So I'll dig down in here and take a sample. And um, yeah, see if we get anything. Oh, that last pan, guys, that I thought there was a speck of gold in the pan. No, it wasn't. It was just a piece of quartz. Yeah, so no gold in that in the pan so far. Okay. I dug my first pan out of there. There it is. I'll set this up. And then I'll I'll pan it out. See if we can get anything guys. See if we can get any gold. Okay. Oh, at least I've got some decent water to pan in. You guys can see that there. I'll just set this up a bit better. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is all this is all prospecting guys, this is what you gotta do. To chase the gold. Well. Wow. This is part of the way you can chase the gold. I don't really expect to get anything out of this this first pan out of that um, from behind that rock because a lot of this material is just it's like organic organic material just all rotted down leaves and and all that sort of stuff. Of course it depends on how long it's been sitting there. If we've had a, a decent flood and it's it's moved some of the gold in the creek, that's what you want. You want to have a decent flood so it washes down some of the gold. It frees it up from wherever it was trapped and it's washed it further down the creek. That's what I'm looking for here. Bit of a look, see if we've got any gold. Whoop. The camera stands sinking down in the mud. Okay, I'll just move this forward a bit. Okay, let's have a look. The sun's starting to shine, shine through the trees now. Starting to get a bit of sunlight. That's good. Just a little bit of black sand there, but no gold. Can't even see any little specks. Uh, that's all right. That was only the surface material. I'm gonna dig down now, dig down a bit deeper. I'll get back to you. Okay, I widened the hole out a little bit and I dug down a bit deeper. The last pan that I just did off camera, I got one speck. I could see one speck, but I had to use the jeweler's loop. Back. So I've dug down a bit deeper and I've got another pan ready. We'll do this one and see if I can get, get a bit a better spec. That last one that was that was microscopic and it was only one. So I'm starting to think 
um, the gold might be better up up the top. But I haven't really um, I haven't really got to the bottom of the bedrock yet. I'm, I'm still scratching the surface here in this creek. But um, I've looked up the creek here a little bit, and you can see the bedrock slopes off, slopes away. Um, so I might go up there and do some test panning up there. I'll show you what I mean when I finish this. Yeah, so one speck, guys, it's, it's, and microscopic. It's still not enough. I mean, that's, that's just as good as a hit and miss creek, really. I want to be able to see specks in here like I did that first time I come here a few weeks ago or a couple of months back now. Um, I want to be able to get specks like that where I can actually see them. I can see the gold in the pan um, without using the jewels loop. That's the type of gold that, that I should be finding. So we've got a, a beautiful day today, nice and fine. Um, yesterday was nice, today's nice. Tomorrow it's it's raining again. So that's why I came out today. So I thought I'd better get out the creek today while I've got a chance. Because I've been thinking about it. Thinking, is there gold here? Is there good gold? Or or did I make a mistake? I won't really know until I get back up the top, I suppose. I just like to start from the bottom, work my way up. And that sun's not going to help us. Well, we should say the shade. Yeah, but the sun's coming up, so by the time I do the next pan, it should be nice and clear. Anyway, guys, got a bit more black sand in this pan than the other pans. So that's telling us something. Can't see anything, but there might be some microscopics in this black sand. I'll have a look. I'll get back to you with another pan, guys. Okay. Nothing in that last pan. Nothing. Uh, I couldn't see anything under the microscope. No gold. So I'll come up a bit further. We were just down there, uh, yeah, just there where the water is. I've come up here, come further up. I oh, know, probably about another 20, 25 metres, I suppose. Maybe a bit further. And anyway, the bedrock here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to figure it out, but there's the high ground. You come down. This bedrock runs down into this corner so from up there runs down across into this wall that I'm standing on and same here all the way along the bedrock it slopes slopes back towards the bank that I'm standing on so just in here there's a big pile of gravel and sand in there I know it's light material, but it's, um, yeah, it's been trapped there. So I'll just dig that out and pan it and see if I'll get anything. Okay, guys, I'll get back to this when I'm set up. Okay, I've cleared all that, all that loose material off the top. And there's a lip there. Where that lip is, where the water is, down in there, there's a, a lip like a, um, a crevice. And that pan there, I've got out of the crevice, but there's still a lot down in there I can't get. So, I've got my yabby pump in the car. I'll go down and get my yabby pump, and I'll pump it out and see if we do any good. I've got this material in the bucket. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this material down to that uh, pool of water where I was earlier, and I'll pan it out down there. Then I'll come back up here with a yabby pump. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, let's do some panning. So this is the material that I 
that I've just dug out of the creek up, up above us. And uh, yeah, see if there's it. I don't think there'll be anything in this because this was material that was just sitting up there on a the bedrock and it had been washed down obviously from up top. But uh, I suppose you never know. There might be some fine gold in it. That's what we're here for. But um, I'm really interested now in going back up there with the Abbey pump and pump that that crevice out and uh, yeah just see if we can get anything out of that hopefully there'll be some some gold trapped in that crevice Let's have a look guys, we're in the shade too, my apologies for that, can't help it though, the sun's still not, still not right, um, high enough yet. No, nothing, no, a little bit of black sand there but no, there's no gold. Okay, I've got some more in the bucket there, I'll just pan it out. Then we'll go and do this crevice. Okay guys, um, that last time material panned out, nothing, no gold. So I've got the Yabby pump and we'll pump, suck out this um, crevice. This crevice in the bedrock and we'll see if we can do any good. What we'll do, we'll take this bucket of cons down to the down to that water hole where I was panning and I'll just pan this out, see how we go. Okay. Let's pan this material out, see how we go. That was that crevice from what I could feel. Um I got most of it. I mean that crevice might have got went, might have went thinner, and I might, I might have um, left some behind, but I don't know. This is all the material I've got with the with the Yabby pump anyway. So I've got a little bit more in the bucket there. I've got to clean out. But uh, gee, you'd think if there was any gold trapped in in the creek on the bedrock up there, you'd think it would have been in this crevice. Or, something would be in there you would think all we need to do is just see a, a couple of specks to put us onto the gold i mean like i said i've 
I've only seen one speck this morning and that was microscopic but we want to see we want to see some better specks than that otherwise I just got to go back up top where I was before and hunt up there and see if I can get onto something maybe the gold only the real super fine gold washed down I can see something shiny up there in the pan guys um, that's small I'll be able to have a look under my jewels loop might be a bit of gold yeah anyway I'll get back to this okay guys I didn't do any good in the creek um, just that one speck that I saw and even that um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it was gold anyway I've come to this spot where the old time has been t um, all the test pits and you can see there's the escarpment there down and the ground's still running down and just here they've dug a test pit there they've dug a hole there and then straight across parallel parallel to that um, test hole they've dug here and there's some more another test hole just over here where this mound of dirt is just here so there's your escarpment coming down where the ground starts to flatten off here and they've dug a line of test holes along here and there's another one just here in there and there may be more over there towards the creek anyway so that's one line they've dug and then down here I'll be about another what probably another six or seven meters from the from the ones up there say another seven another seven meters down and I can't see any test holes there but there's one here here they've been digging in this area just here all through here test holes and right across here there's a there's another one right across here just in there there's another test pit um yeah so over to where my car is a line of test pits and just up above about seven meters or so up above my car or up above these this line of test holes here there's another line of test holes down here where it flattens right out no there's nothing down there well I couldn't see any anyway they just seem to be up here so what I'm thinking I'm going to jump in one of these test holes and I'm going to dig down and take a sample and I'll go back down the creek and pan it out and see if I do any good okay guys I'll get back to you okay guys all that that outcrop up there it's all granite and there is quartz in it there's quartz stringer veins and that running through some of the ground up there and there is some um, quartz on the ground scattered everywhere anyway i picked out one of these old timer dig holes this one here it's sort of in the middle in the middle of where the escarpment runs down and I've dug down in the hole that they dug and see that yellow see that yellow material in the hole that is decomposed granite that's what they were sampling so they've dug down because they knew it was here they knew that the granites had decomposed over millions of years and they knew that you can find gold in decomposed granite when the granite breaks down it releases all the fine gold so that's what they've done so i want to dig some of this granite this decomposed granite take it down to the creek pan it and see if i i do any good i'll get back to you guys okay i filled the filled me hole back in and this is a decomposed granite guys it's yellowy it sticks together like clay that's it that's your decomposed granite right there so we'll go down the creek we'll pan it and see if the old timers 
we're onto the gold here. Okay guys, let's pan out this decomposed ground. The old timers were obviously they were looking, they were looking in that granite for the for any traces of gold. So we'll do the same thing. We'll see if we can see any gold in this material. Some of it's um it's, yeah, like I said, it, it goes like clay, like balls of clay. We've got to sort of break it down a bit. Doesn't hurt to um, to try these things. The old timers were searching there. They obviously knew something. So it doesn't hurt to, to have a look. I didn't find anything in the creek, so might as well have a look where the old boys were looking. They, wouldn't have, they didn't dig all those holes testing if they didn't know something. Rightio, I'll just pan this one back quickly guys and see if I can see anything. Nothing that stands out in there. Oh. Yeah, there is. I don't know if it's gold though. Um, what I might do, I'll go get my snuffer bottle, and as as I pan out, when I get the little bit of black sand in the bottom, I'll um, I'll snuffer it up, because I can see some little sparkly bits in there. And if that's gold, that's what the old boys would have seen. I'll get back to. Okay, got me snuff a bottle. Because I can see sparkly things uh, in there, but I don't know what it is. So I'll just, rather than muck around here, I'll just crack the light. That might just be um, a mica or something, I don't know. Anyway, we'll keep it and we'll see what happens. See if there's anything, anything in it. We'll get another pan. I don't think, it didn't look to me that um, this decomposed granite that I dug out of their hole, this was really hard and this was, this hadn't been dug. So they've only dug down to the decomposed granite, like I just did, sampled it, and then obviously if they didn't find anything or there wasn't enough there to interest them, they've just, yeah, they've moved on. But... It mightn't have been rich enough for them, but for me it might be, so. Anyway, we'll soon find out if there's any. What I'll do, I'll, I'll snuffer up the, the black sand and those shiny bits, shiny bits of mineral that I can see in the pan. I'll snuffer that up, take it home, and I'll look under the microscope. That'll tell us. That'll tell us if there's gold in this uh, decomposed ground or not. Yeah. Right, I'll just quickly pan it back. I'm oh, sorry guys, it's a bit of mucking around get climbing up the bank to see us, but I'll um I'll show you it's under the microscope anyway. So all I'm gonna do is there's nothing there that you can see anyway guys. If I saw a big flake that you worry, I'll show you. But I'm just going to snuff it all that up, take it home, and put it under the microscope. That will tell us if there's gold or not in this material.
Anyway, guys, I'll get back to this once I've finished. I just stopped off at another creek, guys. This is another creek I haven't, I haven't um, test panned this creek either. This, this keeps going up and up, up to the top there, up to that barbed wire fence. Yeah, but this is another one, another creek. I'll have to um, check out in another day. got the the sand from the snuffer bottle that, that I sucked up out of the pan that's over there drying out in the pan so I'll, I'll run the microscope over it and just see if there is any fine gold in it but uh, that's not what we want to find we want to find bigger stuff yeah so what I'll do on my next trip I'll go up the top where I was before with the barb where the barbed wire fences I'll go up the top of there and I'll sample test sample up there and if I don't find anything up there then I must have um, contaminated the sample before when I when I saw the gold in the pan, yeah. So, um, okay, the competition. I've got a meteorite to give away. Okay, I'll be right back. We'll go and weigh it up. I'll go inside, weigh it up, and we'll see who the winner is. Okay, there it is. There's the meteorite, guys. There's the scales. Put it on there. 12.73. Give us a close up. 12.73, guys. Okay, guys. The um, so the weight was 12.773. It sort of bounced around 7.1 and went down to 7. 12.71, 12.73, so around there. Anyway, the winner that picked 12.70 is dueling recliners. Dueling recliners. So you're the winner. Congratulations, buddy. And I don't know any more information on you, mate. All I know is dueling recliners. That that's your channel name. I, look, I checked your, your channel out, but you've got no videos, no information about you. So, if you're watching this video, send me an email. I'll put your email link here, or, or here, or somewhere. It'll be here. And um, send me an email, uh, yeah, with your um, with your postal address, and I'll I'll post that meteorite off to you, off to you, mate. ASAP. Yeah. So, oh, that's cool. That's I'll, I'll put another one up because I've got a few there, a few meteorites. So I'll do another comp and I'll I'll give out another one uh, a bit later on, maybe in my next video or something. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, thanks for coming along with me out to Rocky Creek, which is turning into another hit and miss creek. Um, yeah, I, I really thought I'd find something there today. So I dug down in amongst that bedrock in that uh, in that creek. I sort of dug down a couple of spots there and test sampled a few spots. Nah. No, nah, it's not there. So, on the next next time I go out there, I'm going to go up the top again where that barbed wire fence was, or is. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to do some sampling up there, up the top. And if I don't find anything up there, then it was never there. Yeah. Okay then, guys. Thanks a lot. Stay safe, guys. Take care. Be good. And I'll see you on the next one. Congratulations, dueling recliners.